Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Ransom. I'm going to show you guys uh, a couple ways to make a uh, your own samples in Logic Pro X 10.5. So check it out. Uh, I'm going to start with a software instrument track. I'm going to add. I'm going to add Alchemy into this. I'm going to add some keys, and I got a keyboard in front of me. I'm just going to play some. Let's see, let's find a sound. Let's just say something like that, right? We'll just add something basic, something simple. So make sure your tempo's set and everything how you want. Oh, I'm gonna need the metronome on for while I'm recording. And uh I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make it about just I'm just gonna make it four bars. There we go. Something basic like that. And I'm gonna quantize that. So once we have our track laid down, our little MIDI whatever laid down you can right click it and hit bounce in place and then you can copy my settings here if you'd like um, rename it whatever you'd like as well and now we have our audio file at this point we don't even need this MIDI file anymore unless you do want to keep it you can if you do want to keep it I recommend turning the turning alchemy off and then muting the track and also, if you don't want it there, you can hit H on your keyboard. And then click H on that track, hit H again, it'll disappear. Now you can hit H and toggle hidden tracks. Pretty cool. Um, but anyway, we are going to uh, make a new instrument track, actually, with this audio track. So make a new instrument track. Add in quick sampler on that track. Now with Quick Sampler open, drag the audio file we just bounced into the original tab. And now you have it on your keyboard with different, um, basically scattered all the way across your keyboard. But I'm looking to grab each individual stab, each individual chord. So I'm gonna go to Slice. Now we can see the slices it made for us. I can already tell which ones I don't need. But if you just want to mess with it, you can come to the sensitivity um, knob right here and turn it down. And you can see that fixed it for me. So now I have these four chords on my, on my keyboard. And the first thing I'm sure you can hear is they're overlapping. So to fix that, um, we come down to the amp and polyphony, change that to one. And that will make it so only one file plays at a time. You can also hear it's playing the whole entire, the whole entire um, file. Let's say you wanted to do like little like stabs or just little quick punch it, quick punches, quick stabs, but you didn't want it to hold out like that. You can turn this little gate button on right here, and that will automatically gate off um, when you let go of the key. Now it's still a little bit. It's still got a little tail. You can still hear the release, and that's because we've got to come down to the amp and turn the release, this little knob here down, the release button. And you can make that as choppy as you want. Or you can make it as long as you'd like. So yeah, a little sound design there. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually turn the release down a little bit and I'm going to change the pitch of this whole thing down to about 8 now let's bring it up so I'm going to do something like that right I like that, that little uh, melody right there so 
You can also mess with the glide here. Let's turn on the filter and let's add a high pass down here. High pass filter, 12 dB creamy. Let's try that. Bring the cutoff down. Bring the resin, resin up. Resonation. And I'll bring the drive up as well. I'll bring this drive up here. Sounds pretty cool. I'm also going to add a little bit of this LFO over here. So to add the LFO, first I'm going to turn on the the note button here, which will put it in time on quarter note, leave it on quarter note, turn the amount up down here via LFO one target volume. And that will allow me to get a little bit of a pulse effect. Bring it down a little, bring the pitch down maybe again. Yeah, I think four sounded good. Bring the cutoff on the filter down. See, that sounds pretty cool. I like that sound. That sounds great. So now we will mute this audio track and record again um, with our new sample at whatever BPM you want. I didn't have the metronome on. Let's try it again. Cool. And I'll, I'll uh, quantize that. You can hear it's off. I'm going to fix that up. Cool. So that's a pretty cool loop right there. Now you can also go ahead and continue to add effects on like delay, reverb, EQ, uh, in the audio effects here and continue making something different. If you're all finished up with it and you got a nice little loop, you can, uh, select that region, do command E, and this will allow you to bounce that region as a loop. Now be I'm going to hit cancel before you hit command E, make sure you select the region you want and make sure that the cycle range is as long as that region. And then you can hit command E and uh, the range is export cycle range only. And then the rest of the settings is up to you. Save it, name it, whatever you want. And uh, just keep doing this process over and over and over. And by the end of the day, you'd have a whole bunch of loops. <laughs> All right, y'all have a great day. Um, subscribe, comment, leave a like, and I uh, hope you have a good one. Peace out.